What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the U.S. of Angling where I travel the U.S. full time in a travel trailer with my wife JC and I fish everywhere I go. Today we are fishing Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. I always love fishing national parks. I've only fished a couple of them but they are always just absolutely gorgeous. I did minimal research. So I know the regulations, but I don't even know what all fish live in this river. So I'm going to be learning something. Hopefully you guys learn something in this video. We are guaranteed some beautiful sights. Hopefully we can catch some beautiful fish. I've got a pretty gnarly drive. I need to quit talking to my camera. We got like 15% grades here. So I got about a 10 minute drive down this mountain and we're going to be fishing. Stay tuned. Let's go catch something oh my goodness guys it is freaking absolutely gorgeous here check this out <laughs> i don't really know what i was expecting i think like i was just missing some hype i knew this was going to be gorgeous this is already outrageous and i think we're headed that way a nice little ways and it's gonna get more canyony and even more gorgeous than this but I think I'm gonna see if I've got any service on my phone or something and try and scope out a spot to where we can hike along the river and hopefully catch some fish I know I mentioned I didn't do much research I did not check this place out on Google Maps at all check out what we have got a freaking spillway I am a sucker for a spillway Looks like we're gonna have to get pretty close to it. There's a lot of really shallow rock here, but I think right below the spillway, there should be some decent water. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so sick. All right, guys, we are starting off with a number two gold Panther Martin. I've got about a foot and a half fluorocarbon leader tied off with a little barrel swivel looking thing just to make sure my line doesn't twist like crazy. We're gonna start off with this. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, this is so sick. This is so sick. Oh yeah, I should mention, I'm not keeping any fish today. Trout are so fragile. I've taken off one of these hooks. We'll be saving some fish that way. Those trebles tear trout up. I just saw a trout follow and it was not very small. Oh my goodness. I just had my first follow. That was like my fourth cast. All right guys, well as much as I love a good spillway, there just didn't seem to be much going on below this one. I'm thinking we're gonna have better luck just hiking down along the river, throwing up against the bank and shaded areas where the trout are up hiding rather than just out in the middle of the river, so. We're gonna do a little bit of a hike down, just kind of work our way down river. I got a feeling we're gonna catch our first fish pretty darn quick. Just gonna work all these banks. These trout have to be hiding somewhere. And I don't think it's gonna be out in that super fast stuff. Man, down river starting to look really good. I think it settles down a lot down there. Come on. Big old trout, just freaking thump it. Ooh, go, oh, there's one. Yes, that's a good one too. Brown trout it looks like, holy crap. Boy, did I call that. Sick. Come here, dude. Yeah. Oh gosh, he was in the net and out. That's a nice one. All right, a good brown trout right off of this bank. That was so sick. He smacked that thing right when I said it too. Let's get my hands wet. Take a quick peek at this fish. All right, look at that. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Not a bad first fish at all. That's probably, I don't know, maybe 12 inches. Maybe 13, yeah, 12, 13 inches. What a fish. All right, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
All right, fish number one is a brown trout. Like I said before, I honestly don't know what kind of fish are in here. So that was a decent brown trout right there. Oh, all right guys, a little bit of an update. It's probably been like an hour and a half. I've just caught that one brown trout. Ran into a couple guys fly fishing and they had been doing pretty good. Caught some rainbows and brown trout. So I ran back up to the truck, grabbed some of my fly fishing gear, not the fly rod. I'm throwing a fly on my spinning reel. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be throwing. And hopefully we can land at least a couple fish before it's time to go. Can't complain with one, but really like to pull off at least a couple more. It'd be cool to catch a, a rainbow trout too, get two species for the day. So hopefully the setup works. All right, guys, so I am using just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little nymph or midge looking deal. He said red and black. So I think this is like a number 18, maybe a 20. And then just about, I don't know, 10 inches above, I've got a bigger nymph with the gold head just to try and get it down. So I'm going to fish this, I don't know, it's about four feet down with a weighted bobber on my spinning setup so I can cast it out there. Oh yeah, and let's hope some of these trout just want to whack that tiny little red and black or the bigger one. That'd be fine if they hit the bigger one too. They can take their pick. Come on. Oh, that was a bite for sure. Okay, all right, we got our first hit. Dang it, we missed him, but that was definitely a bite. They're hitting. They're hitting right out in that spot out there. That might be a little bit too far. We'll see. Nope, not too far. Beautiful. Is this a rainbow? I think it's a rainbow. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Yes. Beautiful. Oh my God goodness that thing is freaking gorgeous does that hook out yeah that hooks out he's gonna flop out of my hands so whoa gosh so quick i know he is oh can hopefully you guys can see this oh my goodness what a beautiful freaking rainbow trout well there he just went that was a horrible release but he did land in the water oh my that was so freaking cool. What a beautiful fish. I absolutely love using a fly with a spinning setup. I'm the only guy out here with a spinning reel, I think. Most guys are out here with fly rods, but man, I just love catching fish and reeling them in, not pulling them. That's, that's my biggest complaint with fly fishing. It's just the fight isn't quite as much fun for me as it is on a spinning setup. Man, just letting the bobber drift down the river with this view. I mean, this is just freaking gorgeous. Absolutely killer. There, oh, big fish. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is the most beautiful fish I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the most beautiful fish I've seen in my entire life. This cannot be real. This cannot be real. This cannot be real. This is the most beautiful fish I've seen in my life. In my life. Please, please. I hope you guys saw that fish. <sighs> I have goosebumps. That was the most beautiful rainbow trout. The most red colored, beautiful rainbow trout. He got off as I was going to net him. Oh, I don't know what to feel right now. That was incredible. 
Oh. That was the most beautiful fish I think I've ever freaking had on the end of my line, and I'm not kidding. Holy crap. That's gonna keep me here a little bit longer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just had to rewatch that footage because I'm, my heart's hurting right now. That was a gorgeous fish. I cannot believe I did not get in the water for that fish. <laughs> I cannot believe. If I did, I probably could have had him. I don't know what I was doing. My left foot's already wet. I mean, I definitely should have gotten wet for that fish. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Well, that was an experience. I won't forget missing that fish. <laughs> oh, I definitely wouldn't have forgotten catching him, but I won't forget missing him either. I got such a good look at that fish. Man, that rainbow trout might have ruined me for the day. That is gonna be the only fish that I'm looking for. It, I mean, that fish was probably 16 inches and just absolutely freaking gorgeous. He might have been bigger than 16 inches, honestly. Gosh, he was beautiful. Got another absolutely gorgeous rainbow trout on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This one's not as red, but he's freaking gorgeous. Come on, stay on. This is a nice fish. Come on, not gonna horse him, not gonna horse him. Come on, come on. If I catch you, I can leave. If I catch you, I can leave. Come on, come on. No, don't do that. You scare me when you do that. Come on, come on. No, no. Quit it. Why can't I net him? Come here, come here, come here. This is so scary. What am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Come here. Yes! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My camera just overheated. I'm so sorry I didn't get the hook set. What a beautiful fish. That is a yeah, that's a 16 inch fish, guys. My net, the inside of my net is 15 and a half inches. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's 16 inches. Oh my goodness, he's hanging over the net, touching up here. Let's get you wet one more time. I really wanna hold you and pick you up. Oh my gosh. Guys, that is beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, how did I get that lucky? Here you go, buddy. Oh my goodness. Wait, come here. Okay. There he goes. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what a beautiful fish. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. Today is actually a travel day for JC and I, but I had to come hit this river. I'm actually like an hour and a half late and I don't have any service to call JC, so hopefully she's not too mad, but I am so thankful for that rainbow trout we just caught because it eases the pain just a little bit on that first one. But I wish we could have done a little bit more exploring here, but in Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park, if you are in the area, come check it out. Even if you're not fishing, come check this place out. But if you have any say in it whatsoever, bring a fishing pole, come down here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Fly fishing definitely beat the Panther Martin today. So 
You don't have to have a fly rod. I just use a spinning rod, even though I'm throwing flies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again, guys. Get out there and catch something. You guys, I have a fish. I couldn't help myself. Stay on fish. Stay on fish. Stay on fish. Please stay on. Please stay on. What a fish. Stay on here. Stay on here. Stay on here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry I haven't gotten either hook set. But I planned on leaving. And I couldn't make myself leave. Oh my gosh. Now I can actually leave. What a beautiful fish. This is bigger than the other one. How is this happening? This is bigger than the other one. This is like a 17, 17 and a half inch fish. I am so sorry that I haven't gotten these hook sets. Oh my gosh. How did this happen? All right, guys. I'm going to let this fish go. What an absolutely incredible rainbow trout. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That fish. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I have absolutely nothing else to say about that fish. <sighs> it made my day, to say the least. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks again. Get out there and catch something.